All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and this is your weekly Zer Loot and Location PSA. Of course, he brings the Telesto this week. Haha, ha, very funny, Bungie. And along with that, he's got a Knucklehead Radar. Not a very popular choice in exotics. And uh, that role is stat distribution is more PvE, so I don't think we'll be using that too much. We got Kepri's Horn with 14 mobility. We'll pass on that. Starfire Protocol with a 67 total stats is awesome. The really high resilience is especially good in PvE. The low recovery hurts a little bit. Decent discipline, though, which is kind of what you want with this. This is my favorite exotic for Warlocks and my Solar Warlock build that I think is arguably one of the best builds in the game right now. I would highly, highly recommend grabbing this if you don't have one that already has a better stat distribution. Survivor's Epitaph with Firmly Planted Osmosis. can also roll a few other options. we got Subsistence, one for all. Okay. Maybe a decent PvE roll, but nothing to squawk over. We got a Geon 7. We can pass on that roll. We got a Grid Skipper. Heating up in Thresh. We'll pass on that roll. We got a Sojourner's Tail. Tunnel Vision opening shot. Um, I mean, not the worst Sojo ever, I guess, but I would definitely want a little more handling. This magazine hurts quite a bit, so I'm going to say average roll at best. We got a Punching Out. Looks like it's got a few extra perks based on how many times you've reset your valor or reset your uh vanguard rep rather um wellspring encore yeah i love the punching out sidearm i don't think that's the best roll though and the shattered cypher these 900 rpm machine guns are just absolute bullet hoses that's uh, an average roll on that stars and shadow has kill clip on there i saw for a moment looks like it's rotating through a variety of other perks as well none of these other perks seem all that enticing airhead break stability masterwork though it's pretty solid kill clip and dragonfly there yeah this is a decent roll. Stars and Shadow. Pulses are in right now as well, so might want to snag that bad boy if you don't already have a good roll. We got 60 stat gauntlets, decent gauntlets. Uh, those are That's a really good chest piece right there. High resilience. Um, decent discipline and strength. Excellent chest piece for the Titan. We got a helmet. We can pass on that. A little too much mobility and way too much mobility on the boots, so we'll pass on that. Now we'll go ahead and pull up the rest of the armor. We've got um, Hunter armor. Go to vendors. We'll see what they got over here. It's loading up right now. We got Hunter Armor is 60 stat gauntlets with 24 discipline. That's really nice, actually. And no intellect and no strength is actually like a perfect distribution with 60. So that Hunter Gauntlet is actually really worth grabbing for a lot of good builds in the game currently. Um, high resilience, high discipline, and high strength chest is actually pretty solid too. 60 sets, 64 stat. Uh, helmet with high strength, I'd pass on that one actually, even though it has 64. And um, probably pass on the boots too, but they're not too bad. Moving on to the Warlock now, and then we'll go see what the Hawk Moon and DMT is. Warlock's got 61 stat, a little too much mobility, we'll pass on the gauntlets, pass on the chest. Hard pass on that helmet, oh my goodness. And pass on the boots as well, unfortunately, no good Warlock armor this week, so rip the Warlocks. Hawkmoon has Snapshot. Airhead Break. That's a pretty average roll of Hawkmoon. And DMT does have Moving Target. So that's a decent roll of that, actually. And that's a wrap. Let me know your thoughts down below. What pieces will we be grabbing? Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Later.